Let's talk about how you can check the firmware on your Apple MagSafe battery pack and how to update it. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you have not done so already, I implore you to please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you do not miss a single video. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through everything you need to know about Apple's MagSafe battery pack in terms of how to check what firmware you are currently running and how to update to the latest firmware. I'll break it into chapters, use the markers down below as needed. The reason I'm talking about this at all is because Apple has recently introduced a new firmware update for its official MagSafe battery pack. And in this update, Apple upped the charging speeds. Now, when placed on the back of your iPhone, it'll charge not at only five watts while on the go, it'll charge your phone at seven and a half watts, which is a good improvement over what it did before. So if you want to take advantage of those new speeds, you of course need to make sure you are fully up to date. Beyond that, Apple could introduce new features or updates in the future, and if you want to make sure your battery pack is updated, I'm going to show you how to check what firmware you're on and how to actually install those updates manually. The first thing we need to do is look at how to actually check what current version of firmware you're running on your Apple MagSafe battery pack, which I happen to have this leather cover on the moment, but this is Apple's official battery pack. So what we're going to do first is place on the back of our iPhone. So of course, just like that goes on like normal. You can see here my little battery widget, but then I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings app. From settings, we're going to go down to general and then about. If we scroll down this list, you'll see there's a new option for MagSafe battery pack. If you remove this, that will disappear. But while it's connected, it will show up here in the about section. When I tap into MagSafe battery pack, I can see the manufacturer, of course, Apple, the model number of the battery pack, and the all important firmware version. The current version of firmware as of this video is version 2.7.b.0. That is the most recent version of the MagSafe battery pack firmware. If you are looking at this in the future, there could be newer ones. So if you want to make sure you have that 7.5 watts of charging or any other changes that Apple makes in the future, you should be on that version or later. So say you're not on the most recent version of that firmware. How do you update your MagSafe battery pack? Well, one way is just to leave it on your phone. Just leave it here and over time it will automatically check and download the update when it's found. You don't have to leave it on all the time, but just put it on your phone every once in a while and it'll continually pull for those updates. Apple does say though, this can take up to a week to actually get the update installed. And some of us just don't wanna wait that long. Fortunately, there's a faster way to manually install these updates. So take your MagSafe battery pack, but you are also going to need two other things. You're going to need a lightning cable, and then you're going to need some form of other device, like an iPad or a Mac. So as long as you've got a Mac or an iPad that are fairly new, we can go ahead and do this. You just take your lightning cable, connect it to the iPad. I've got an iPad mini here. And then you connect your MagSafe battery pack and we just leave it here about five minutes. If you leave it connected like this, it'll go ahead and update that battery pack for you automatically. It should take that five minutes and then you're done. This is how you manually install that update. Connect it to a Mac or an iPad, leave it connected for about five minutes and then you are free to disconnect the battery pack. Then you can go back over to your iPhone, connect it, then jump into settings and make sure that that update was properly installed. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is an acceptable way to update the battery pack or should Apple have some sort of button to manually do it inside of settings? Let me know down below in the comments. If you wanna grab a MagSafe battery pack for yourself, there is a link down below in the description. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.